From a transportation perspective, back to school got underway without a hitch. This is according to Chief Executive Officer of the Transport Board, Fabian Wharton. Uh, we didn't um, have much of a problem this morning. It was relatively quiet. Um, everything went smooth. We know we have the odd bus that was maybe five to ten minutes late. Um, in our Fairchild Street terminal, by about 8.30, everything was clear. Um, here at PAT, I understand that um, we didn't have any challenges as well. I know there was another odd um, situation that occurred with a couple of students, but I think that's just a little misunderstanding. Uh, so by and large, given that it's a phased return, it's not the full complement of school children at the same time, so it calls for some different management on our part. Communications Officer of the Alliance Owners of Public Transport, Mark Haynes, shared similar sentiments. So far, so good. Um, children seem to be very compliant with the new um, protocols. They understand that, is, that they have to um, have their masks um, appropriately affixed. Um, school, um, they're all ready to go. They seem excited. And there's this level of excitement, which is really good. We are also um, supportive of these children going back to school because we know that the face-to-face -face learning environment is what is imperative as we move forward. He added that children returning to school will benefit PSV operators. Yes, this would be uh, an, an advantage for the sector because the sector has experienced um, challenges over the past um, two years. And really and truly, we were at 75% 75, 75 capacity. Now this has changed. This now gives rise to um, funds to get some further funds for the sector. And with the school children out, we are hopeful that this will happen. But noted that safety remains a priority. Crystal Hoyt, CBC News.